Hey traders, what to trade next week? In this video, we'll discuss Dollar Cat, Dow Jones. We'll analyze your Aussie pound Swiss together. I will share with you very nice trading setups with entry stop and targets. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's start. Right, traders, let's start our analysis with the Euro Aussie pair. Here, I see a very nice potential trend following trading setup. Analyzing the market on a daily time frame, you can see that the market is trading in a bearish front. You can see that recently the market set a new structure level, and now we see a retracement. And looking at that structure, first of all, right here, I see a very strong horizontal structure. Yes, you can see that here we got a very strong horizontal structure support. That was broken to the down side, and now the market is testing that, that structure again. And moreover, if we take that high and draw a trend line you can see that here we have a very strong resistance yes strong vertical resistance and here is our current potential reversal zone this potential reversal zone is based on this triangle and it is based on this horizontal structure and from that area we will expect a trend following movement and what we should do right now we should wait for a confirmation on lower time frames to sell the market so let's check what is happening on a 4 hour time frame right now. On a 4 hour time frame, you can see that once our horizontal structure was reached, the market started to coil. And here the price formed a classic inside bar formation. By the way, traders, if you want to learn how to trade inside bar formation, watch this video. There I explain how to trade inside bar candlestick pattern formation. So here the price from the inside bar formation and even broke its range to the deal side. Yes, the mother's bar was broken to the deal side and as we know, it is a very strong bearish clue. But then the market started to recover. And what we see right now on your Aussie is a very nice foundation for a double top formation. Yes, so here's our high, here's our high level, and now the market retests the highs again. So in case, if the price breaks the neckline of this double top formation to the inside, yes, if we see the 4-hour candle close below that minor horizontal structure support, that will be our confirmation, and then we can short on a retest. Our first goal will be a current local structure level. Yes, so here will be our risk to reward for the street. Yes, our stop loss will lie above the highs of the pattern. And here will be our first goal. Yes, but as we discussed, it is the trend following trading setup. So then the market may go even lower. So we need to find the next strong structure to watch on your Aussie. And you can see that analyzing the market in a daily time frame, the daily levels are very far from current prices. So we will open weekly time frame. Yes, and on a weekly, let's check where will be our next strong structure. Our next strong structure will be right here. Yes, that will be our next strong structure support. So returning back to our trading setup on a four hour time frame, let's measure our potential reward for the second target yes here it will be yes huge risk to reward the point is that of course to catch such a nice treat definitely we will apply a trading stop yes first of all once the first target is reached you just definitely move your stop to entry and make your position risk-free and then while the market is going lower and lower adjust your trading stop Remember that the next close structure is all the way down somewhere here. So the potential for a bearish continuation on the euro was, is enormous. Remember that if the price sets a new high, high, high close right here, the setup will be invalid. And you should look for some other confirmation, some other price action pattern within that area that will be your plan on your Aussie. hey traders if you want to learn how to trade if you want to learn my trading strategy i want to invite you in my premium educational group there i will show you how i trade live there i will show you how i analyze the market live also you will get the copy of my ebook with my trading strategy and a big video course for more details check the link in the description below it is vasilytrader.com slash private group or text me in one of the social networks i will give you more details the next peer that we will discuss today is pounds with peer 
Similar to Euro Zipir, you can see that Pound Swiss is trading in a strong bearish trend on a daily. Yes, and for some time, for some time, the market is coiling around that horizontal structure support. You can see that just recently we got two pullbacks from this structure. And you can see that in April, once that support was reached, we bounced from that support again. The market bounced and here we have a very strong supply area. Yes, you can see that in the past, in the recent past, that area was very important for the market participants. And most likely from that area, the market will drop. Yes, so from that area, we are looking for shorting opportunities. The confirmation that I spotted is on a four hour time frame. On a four hour time frame, right here, I see a very nice triple top formation. Take a look, here's our first top, and the market retreased, and then here goes our second top, and then goes our third top. Yes, yeah, so here we have a very nice triple top formation. And this triple top formation, we will trade next week. The only problem right here is to correctly spot the neckline of this triple top formation. Take a look at that wax. Yes, this wax here are very important and we, we definitely should take them into consideration when we will draw our neckline. But also we should take into consideration the price action right here. So our neckline on pound Swiss pair will be that area, yes. And in order to confirm violation of neckline, we need the four hour candle close below that area. Then we will set our sell limit order on a retest of a broken neckline of a triple top and we will expect a bearish movement to the current structurally. What will be our stop right here? Where will be our stop loss? Our stop loss will lie be, be above the highs of the pattern and our initial target will be the structure level. Yes, so you can see we have a very nice risk reward for the initial target. And also traders, as we discussed, the market is bearish. So chances will be high the, the market will manage to break that horizontal structure support to the deal side. So once the structure is reached, first of all, we will move our stop to entry. We'll make our position risk-free. But moreover, we will close just only half of profits, yes, and the rest we will keep. Let's check where the market can go after the violation of that support. Let's check what is happening on a daily. On a daily time frame here on the left, I see this very strong horizontal structure support. Yes, you can see that here we have a very decent demand cluster, and definitely it can be our second target for the trade. So let's measure our risk to reward right here. Again, it is the trend following trade. And again, you can see how nice risk to reward we may get right here trading this trading setup. Again, traders, I really want you to recommend applying trailing stop right here. Once the price breaks that horizontal structure support to the deal side, remember to trail your stop. Lower the market goes, lower goes your stop loss. Lastly, traders, remember that if the price respects the snake line and if from the ethnic line we see a bullish movement and a new higher, high, higher close, this trading setup will be invalid. Yes, and we won't trade this triple top. The next pair that we will analyze together is Aussie New Zealand pair. And as you can see on a daily time frame, Aussie New Zealand pair is very bullish. You can see that we have a very strong bullish trend continuation right here. But I believe that with a very high probability, Aussie New Zealand will start falling soon. What is the reason? Take a look what I spotted on a weekly time frame. If we open a weekly time frame and zoom out the chart, yes, we really need to zoom out the chart, uh, the chart right here, traders. And let's take that structure high. Yes, the high of 2015. From that, we can draw this major falling trend line. Look. This time the market dropped from here, this time, this time. Take a look how strong bearish rallies we got from that major falling trend line. 
And now the market is approaching their trend line again. So, of course, from that we can expect a bearish movement. But, of course, we need a confirmation. What can be our confirmation traders? Take a look at what is happening on a daily. If we zoom in the chart and analyze the price action, here we may spot this very nice rising wedge pattern. So definitely you can see that the price action contracts. You can see that bullish legs are becoming weaker and weaker. So your confirmation right here, traders, will be a bearish breakout of the support of the wedge to the new side. It's bearish violation will signify a highly probable bearish movement. And the market will most likely drop at least to that structure and then can even reach that structure. Yes, I will definitely update you on my Telegram channel on trading view. Yes, once I see the breakout, I will post the update. But for now, watch carefully this rising wedge pattern on Aussie New Zealand pair. What is up with dollar cat pair traders? Let's start with the weekly time frame. As you remember, recently we spotted bearish breakout of this major rising trend line on the weekly on dollar cat pair. This trend line was broken to the deal side, and we discussed that each street test may give us a very nice shorting opportunity. So currently I'm looking for confirmation to short. If we open a daily time frame, let's see what we have right here. Here we have also a very important horizontal structure. Take a look, traders. Here we have this structure, structure, structure. Here goes very important structure resistance. So at the moment, Dolly Cat is approaching this confluence zone. Confluence zone between the horizontal structure and the trend line. Yes, and from that zone, from that area, we will expect a bearish movement on dollar cat. What will be our confirmation to sell? On the four hour time frame, you can see that the market is currently very weak and indecisive. We see multiple doji candles right here. We see the rejections. So it looks like selling volumes are accumulating right now. What is happening on hourly time frame? On an hourly time frame, traders, it looks like here we may form some kind of head and shoulders pattern, probably. Take a look. Here is our neckline. Yes, here is our neckline. Here goes our left shoulder. And then the market formed the head. And if the price forms the right shoulder next week, I guess this pattern we will trade. So next week, wait for head and shoulders pattern formation based on that neckline and then wait for the breakout of the neckline to the deal side that will be your trigger to open a sell limit order on the retest selling on a retest a bearish trend continuation will be expected and our first goal will be that strong structure right here yes i hope you see this strong demand cluster right here and considering the second target then i believe that the market can easily drop lower to current structure level. so it will be the again the two targets treat then selling from here we will set our stop loss above the head yes and here will be our first target and here will be our second target again very nice potential risk to reward right here for that three traders and very important thing to add in this trade is the break-even point. The point where we will protect our trading position and move our stop to entry. Analyzing the structure on the left, definitely we must consider that structure. You can see that multiple times in the recent past that structure was respected. So once it is reached, move your stop to entry and make your position risk-free. That will be your plan on dollar cat. And if the price doesn't form head and shoulders pattern within that area, look for some other confirmation, look for some other pattern. You know, this zone right here is quite wide. It is quite big. And I don't know what exactly will happen there. So watch that blue zone carefully. Remember that if the price breaks that blue zone to the upside, the trading setup will be invalid and we won't look for shorting opportunities. Last but not least, traders, 
today I opened the long position on US 30 index on Dow Jones. And I admit that I already tried to buy Dow Jones from here. Yes, once the price violated that share share resistance to the upside on the retest, I decided to buy the market, but then the market dropped lower. And I was looking for buying opportunities again. And this time, the market reached the strong horizontal structure support. You can see that here we have a very nice demand area. So from that demand area, I was looking for some buying opportunities and look what I spotted. Let's open a four hour time frame traders. On a four hour, four hour time frame, here the price formed a very nice double bottom formation. Yes, I hope you see this pattern. Here it goes, here the market dropped, retraced, dropped again, and then we got the violation of its horizontal neckline to the upside, the four hour candle close above. And I opened my long position on a retest. So here is my long position. My stop loss is lying below the lows of the pattern. And my first target is based on the current high. Yes, here is my first target for the street. My break even point is right here. Yes, once that structure cluster is reached, I will move my stop to entry and I will make my position risk free. Where will be the second goal for this trade? Let's open a daily time frame and let's look left at structure. Looking left, we see this strong zone of supply on the left. And our second target will be based on that structure. So let's execute our risk to reward analysis. Here is our second target. So very nice trade. You can see that right now the market is trading quite far from the broken decline. But next week, set your buy limit order on a retest because as we know, chances are always high that the market will return one more time to the broken neckline. Let me know, traders, by the way, what do you think about this trade? Do you believe that Dow Jones will keep growing? Let me know in the comment section. So this time we got a very big video and I hope you enjoyed all the trading setups that we discussed in this video. If you have any questions concerning this trading setups, let me know in the comment section. I always reply to all your questions, traders, so don't be shy. Also, traders, if you want to learn how to trade, if you want to see how I trade live, I want to invite you in my premium educational group. The link in the description below. Traders, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you next week.